I just want to support you, you know, getting, getting through everything. And I'm, I'm so glad that you're here because I want to address something that happened in the past. A few years ago, obviously there was a rumor mm -hmm. that I had hooked up with Van. Mm -hmm. And you were telling us that you didn't have anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. But then obviously we saw on TV that you have pulled a producer into the booth. Mm -hmm. And you were like, we all know Charmaine's And that really hurt us because yes. There was a rumor that I absolutely did not start. The rumor, it changed many times. At first, it was that I was having sex with Van. Then it was that I Van's Did you hear that Charmaine Van's I might have heard something close to that. However it came about and however it was being spread, at the end of the day, the only way for us to move forward is for Don and Neek to talk about it. Char bringing it up now is exactly why I was almost debating about not coming to the event. I ain't got time for that type of drama. What's, okay. What's your problem? Well, I'm, we come in peace. I'm, I'm, you don't have to talk to me. When this shit happened, there was no explanation. We just seen you speak about a topic where you told us literally before that aired that, yo, I, didn't, I don't know nothing about this. I ain't never heard about it. I ain't never speak about it. I told you I didn't have nothing to do with it, which I didn't. Like I said, again, I'm not finna trip on Kadeem trying to figure out how to finesse some words. I'm not finna apologize for me sitting there saying, if you think it, go find out. Uh, you don't know the van, Charmaine. Took your ass to admit that you was I'm not, you don't know that All I was simply saying was that ain't nobody on this show finna admit that they was Like, who's gonna come on camera and admit that? In this day is this, man. I didn't say the van the said the And then you took all that energy and you ran left. If you came to me and was like, yo, bro, I know you love Charmaine, so I'm gonna tell you this, bro, my man's is slipping right now. He's saying this, I don't know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. That shows me like, yo, I could f with Don on a level where, that, that man. despite everything that happened in the past, right now, come to me and keep it 100 with me. Yo, what did I just walk into? Oh, I'm leaving Prince telling me that he got this whole baby mama, not baby mama no more situation. Wyatt just told me that she just had an abortion. That's crazy. And I walked right into Donna, Charmaine, and Neek already arguing and fighting about some old shit. Just like, I thought this was supposed to be a launch party, a celebration. Like, what do you expect me to do? How you expect me to move? I, like, I, don't, I didn't expect you to move anyway. All I know is that because of your move, she switched. So that was fine, and that's what she was supposed to do because she your wife. No, but I did so, feel some type of way She too. and a million people said right. that Don, like, she saw you say, Oh my he, God. She, you to me? You're not listening. Bro, wait, wait. You're I'm not listening. Right. You've never seen her. Right. Right. Stop right. acting right. like it's just about that, what? That's because that's the problem. You're you trying to compare it. instead of taking accountability. I am taking accountability. In the day, I didn't say this. That's you. That's the problem. You're bringing up in it all on me. Hold on, hold on. What we're talking about is that we're lying on me. He was hurt, but he was hurt behind that bro. He was hurt that they put that on him. He gotta understand if, how if hurt we, we may be. We were both because very look, hurt. Listen, bro, my bro. kids have been clowned. Every thing, my wife has bro. been clowned. Don't tell me what the bro. I've been through. I sat around this motherfucker for years and been called everything but my mother name. Just recently in this year, has I broke my pride and tried to reach out more and say it life too short. Because I had to get past all the that was done to me in the past. You feel like the past don't matter, but a person gotta heal from the past. That's why I'm telling you, I didn't owe you something. I was doing some for myself. I ain't never said you owe me, but I would have respected it. If this was with your sibling or with your wife, I think you would understand me a little bit more. Listen, we never had a convo, you are right. We didn't sit up here and hit each other up. Like, man, what's up with that? What's up with this? We didn't hold no convo. So that's what it was. My entire life for the last seven years has been on this TV show. The good, the bad, the ugly. And you're talking about a rumor that I didn't even make up. Of course I understand where you're coming from, me, but you can't even imagine what my wife has been through and what the world has had to say about the Brumfields. People always believe in that reality TV is fake. This shit is not fake. This is our real life. So how can we move forward and move past it so genuinely so we can all get together so, as a crew and well, your wife can come around, my husband can come around, and right, we can kick it. Her. Ain't nobody, listen, I respect y'all. I respect you, bro. I'm gonna leave it alone. It's gonna take time because I feel like it's still little barriers that might need to be broken. I know she wants that broken so she can be around everybody neutral and respectfully. And I'm not even like on some trying to hate. I don't hate you, bro. I'm not mad at you, bro. I, I feel you. like this got lame, it got weird, and it got up. And I should have probably hit y'all. 
but I didn't. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I so that's what that was. I had to grow up right in now. my own way, bro. I'm good. You got my word. Like, I'm straight. Like, if we see you face to face, it's cool. And if you want to talk later, down the line, we can I do mean, it. Man, look, this, this, is, this is a great start. At the end of the day, you guys have a real connection that, that came before me. And we had our conversation, and it's something that we can't move forward from. I knew that bringing this up at my party could really go the wrong way. But this is like the only time that they were ever around each other in so long. The guys are my family, just like Nick is my family, and I needed to start to mend this relationship. All right, everyone. Well, <laughs> thanks for coming. I know that you know what transpired was a lot, but um, it was worth it because now we are in a place that we have not been in a long time. And even though it went down at my party, for me, every second was worth it. I don't think Neek really realized holding on to, you know, his resentment for Don is kind of what, like, drove a wedge in between all of us collectively. And for it to come out right now when we're supposed to be celebrating, it's kind of whack. But realistically, I'm kind of glad it's happening right now. It allowed for everybody to be honest with each other and open up a lane for saying what we need to say. And I think that's it. Maybe we should take some shots. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.